Hey, I'm Dan Souza, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to make cold brew coffee right at home. First, grind medium roast beans. Medium roast beans have been roasted to a lower temperature than dark roast beans. Medium roast tastes more like the coffee beans themselves. I'm using two and a half cups here, and we're looking for a coarse grind. Okay, so we've got our grounds in our French press. Now pour two and a half cups of room temperature water over it. You wanna use a one-to-one -one ratio of water to beans, and you can adjust based on how big your French press is. We're gonna let this sit for 10 minutes. I know what you're thinking. Room temperature water, coffee brewed with boiling water will contain serious bitterness and astringency. Now that our 10 minutes is up, a solid raft of coffee grinds has formed on the surface. Now I'm gonna give it a stir, cover it with plastic wrap, and let this sit for 24 hours. Now that sounds like a long time, but the key here is that colder water extracts much more slowly than hot water. And 24 hours really is the sweet spot. After 24 hours, remove the plastic wrap, insert the plunger, and press to separate the grinds from your concentrate. Now you'll feel a lot of resistance here. Be careful, do not push too hard or you could break the press, which I've actually done. Next, pour the concentrate through a coffee filter set in a fine mesh strainer over a large measuring cup or pitcher. Now some would say this filtering step is optional, but I really don't like cold brew that has a lot of silt and grit in it, so I think it's key. I also find it helpful to gently clear the sediment with a rubber spatula to let the last few drops through. I should note, you're not gonna get a lot of concentrate out of this, but concentrate is the key term here. This is really strong stuff, and we're gonna dilute it before we drink it. But before that, we can pop it in a jar, throw the lid on, and put it in our fridge for up to a week. Okay, it's finally time to enjoy some coffee. So we pour our concentrate over ice and add an equal amount of water or however much you want to taste. Maybe a little cream if you want. Now, as a final touch, instead of reaching for the sugar, which really is unnecessary with a super smooth, kind of bitterness-free cold brew, I stir in a pinch of kosher salt. Now you have to trust me on this one. This really helps amp up those flavors that we work so hard to extract. And there you have it, delicious and rich homemade cold brew straight out of the French press. Thanks for watching. Tell us what you thought of this how-to in the comments. Be sure to check out the links in the video description and of course hit that subscribe button below.